Well, I'm back out here this morning. I'm going to finish drilling the rivets out for the door hinge springs. Uh, one thing uh, I forgot to do when I ordered the pins and the bushing kit, I forgot to order the springs. I had them on the cart, but forgot to hit the button or I deleted it, one of the two. But this is Glaze's Geezer Garage. I'm allowed to do that stuff. Well, at least I have an excuse. I'm not sure what you guys say when you forget to order something. But anyway, those will be in next week. I believe I can go ahead and put the bushings and the pins in and not interfere with me putting this, the springs back in later. Uh, so I can go ahead and start putting these doors up to make sure that uh, the doors are going to be uh, all the fitment, all the alignment, all your gaps going to be right. So, yeah, let's get started. I just drilled out the last two door hinge springs. Uh, gonna head over to the parts washer and then the sandblast cabinet. Well guys, I'm over here at my parts washer. It's really a nice parts washer. I bought it online. But if you look right here, it's huge. And everybody's probably saying, well, it looks like it's uneven. It's sitting at an angle. Well, it is. And the reason it is, is because the fluid I like to use is extremely expensive. It's a hundred and some dollars for a five gallon pail. And so I bought one five gallon pail, but that didn't fill it up enough for the pump to work. So I just put it at an angle, a deeper level down at this end. So the pump's working and I'm saving money. So let's start washing some parts. Parts are all clean. Go to the media blast cabinet. Well, I'm over here at my new sandblast cabinet. Uh, my cousin, who I've been helping clean out his business, uh, donated this to the cause because I needed a sandblast cabinet. So thank you, Paul, for this. Um, I'm going to test it out for the first time here. I have uh, two pieces of the hinges in here. I'm going to blast them and uh, see what they turn out like. Let's get started. As you can see, it's working well. You can hear over the noise. Uh, nice unit. Comes off relatively fast. That's pretty thick paint there. You can see here with thinner paint, comes off pretty quickly. A very nice cab. Really happy with this. of one hinge blasted they turned out pretty good a little bit of pitting uh, but I can clean that up with some a little bit of body filler or even paint just primer sand and paint and, you know want to make it look good it's going to be a class a resto mod so I want everything to look great but anyway sandblast cabinet does a good job so let's keep rebuilding this going to like I said, fill it with some primer and or, and then I'll go ahead and uh, probably paint this one. 
guess I better make some decisions on what color I'm going to paint the car because, yep, here we go. What I've decided to do is to go ahead and uh, stick the new, bu new bushings in two of the hinges and use a new pin. I'm going to go ahead and do that before I paint them. I got them blasted, but I'm going to go ahead and fit this up, try to get the doors fitted. Uh, I just thought that if I tried to paint them, it would just chip them up as I put them back in. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stick the new bushings in, two hinges and the pins, and uh, try to fit some doors up. So here we go. Uh, what I've decided to do is just uh, use an old socket that I'm not concerned about damaging it, and just get this bushing square tap actually it went right in a little bit of resistance but this works nice are in nice nice tight good deal all right now you make sure you got the hinge in correctly with the bushing line line the holes up make sure you're putting this in the right side and you get it up here on the vise where I have a little bit of support I'm not going to drive it all the way in because I'm going to pop these back out when I paint them, but it's in there good enough to clear. If you can see right here, I'm clearing this, so when I put it in there, it's not going to interfere. Let's get these hinges on. I'm out here today, and I rebuilt the hinges, put both doors on. Pretty happy with the alignment. The rest of the doors can be adjusted. I got to put a front end on anyway. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty happy with the alignment on both sides. Um, did find out that the chassis was actually, or I should say the body, was actually sagging in the middle. That didn't surprise me. But you can see the lines are pretty good here. It's a little wide, but I can make that up. But it's good at the bottom. The only thing I'm confused on is right at the bottom of the door, you can see that quarter panel sticking out. That does that on both sides. And I have the uh, door... Shim, this one could come out a little bit further, but that's not going to make up for, for that. But I feel that when I put the new quarters on, I can make an adjustment there. Play with the door a little bit, build it up just a little, and then trim that quarter when I put it back on. See if I can get that to go in a little further. So yeah, pretty happy with the door alignment. Guessing I should order a chassis pretty quickly just to make sure I keep this thing lined up once I get it, the new quarter, metal quarters put on. Although I feel this dolly would do the same thing, I just have to shim some things around. But anyway, yeah, looks good. So here I am, I'm getting ready to cut the front end off this Corvette. So I'm gonna cut this front section off here on both sides. And the reason I'm doing it that way is I'm going to save this for a wall mount decoration. Uh, I'm also going to try to save the side louvers, I guess you call it, on each side. Again, for the same purpose. And the reason we're cutting this front end off, it looks pretty good from the outside, but if you look underneath, it is very rough. Uh... They've actually clipped this front end about midway on the wheel wells. You can see all the really rough work underneath there. So we're gonna get a whole new clip for this front end. So let's get started on cutting this thing off.
see here how badly this thing was cut up. That's why I said this was a road race car at one time. They cut this up, you can see how thick it is here when they tried to splice it back in. Front end is really a mess, that's why we're scrapping it. So as you can see, I have the front end cut away. What I'm trying to do is save these louver panels at the same time, make it easy for me to come in and break these seams to from the firewall. That gives me great access. Same thing on the other side. So you can see here, this body mount is rusted real close. I've actually already have those here at my shop, I'm gonna replace all those and the backing plates. Let's get started on trying to remove this from the firewall. I'm gonna take Midyear Mitch's suggestion and use an air hammer with very sharp blades to see if I can break these bonding strips and glue loose. One reason I'm going at this easy is, of course I'm trying to save the firewall because it's in good shape, but also save this decorative panel so I can hang it on the wall someday. But anyway, let's see if we can save it. I have one side off. Wasn't too bad actually. I think because the bonding is glue is old, it popped off pretty good. It actually separated some of the fiberglass, but mostly on the skin. I tried to make sure it was on the skin because that's I'm scrapping that. Uh, getting ready to start on the other side. I found out if I cut a relief here without cutting into the dash, the same here, it's easier to peel off this side and I went ahead and made a shallow cut here because I'm trying to save this and then I'll go ahead and grind this off so I can see the seam and it should peel off as easy as the other side so not too bad actually I'm a little surprised fenders and the front end off. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what I see with the bird cage already. Uh, it looks like the upper half of the bird cage is in excellent condition. Uh, actually the driver's side lower looks really good, a little bit of surface rust. The passenger side, I have to take this rocker off anyway. So it looks like I got some repair here on this this uh, A pillar or the hinge pillar I should think. See right there this L bracket is rusted and it's rusted a little bit right there. So I'll just do some repair on that when I have this rocker out. So it looks like I am going to have to take the uh, firewall off to do this properly. So Looks like the firewall is next, but yeah, it's coming along good. I was surprised at how well or how easy this came off. I took Mitch's advice, mid-year Mitch. I still have the cowl to take off, but it was much easier to take each side off by just making a, a cut on each side without cutting the firewall, just cutting the bonding strips. But yeah, come off pretty easy with the uh, very sharp air hammers. Uh, method. But yeah, let's keep going. Let's get this 
get this off and uh, I think I'll save the firewall for another day. It's getting a little late here at the geezer garage, so thanks a lot for tuning in and we're making some headway here. But overall, I'm really happy with the birdcage so far. Took me about 15 minutes to get the cowl off. You see the glue strips, those are riveted on. So I'm gonna have to grind all that, get the rivets off. Looks like I am going to have to remove this firewall, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's riveted on. Uh, not sure where that's at or how that works, but I'm sure I can watch a few videos and, and figure it out. So, yeah, here we go. Thanks, everybody, for watching Glaze's Geezer Garage on this episode where we dismantled the front end. I wanted to let everybody know that we are uh, changing our video release time from Thursday at 6.30 to Saturday at around 6.30 or Saturday afternoon. Uh, we're doing that because my videographer is playing high school golf. So he is uh, he's going to be occupied on Thursday. So I'm trying to help him out a little bit. And I just want to thank you guys for watching these episodes. We appreciate you guys. We just ask that you will like and subscribe. That really helps us out. And see you next video.